heart, bones, and even the brain that may have an impact on your immune system. Additionally, it may result in did you know that over 20 million Americans may be suffering from kidney disease at some point, and that a large number of them are unaware of it. Kidney disease is a dangerous illness that causes kidney failure and necessitates a transplant or dialysis to survive. However, did you know that certain routines you follow on a daily basis, without giving them much thought, may be endangering your kidneys without you realizing it? In this video, we will reveal 10 daily habits that can damage your kidneys and how to stop them before it's too late. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first is abusing painkillers in excess. Many people use over-the-counter pain relievers, such as NSAIDs and analgesics, to relieve their pain, but these medications can seriously damage your kidneys, particularly if you take them frequently or in large amounts, have kidney disease, or both. According to the National Kidney Foundation, NSAIDs can cause inflammation and renal tissue scarring in addition to reducing blood flow to the kidneys. If you use analgesics frequently or in excess, such as aspirin and acetaminophen, you run the risk of kidney damage. What steps can you take, then, to shield your kidneys from painkillers? The ideal course of action is to use them sparingly and never exceed the prescribed dosage. See your doctor about alternative treatments for chronic pain, such as physical therapy, acupuncture, or meditation. The second is overindulging in salt. Salt is essential to your body because it supports healthy nerve and muscle function as well as fluid balance. However, too much of it can be extremely harmful to your kidneys because salt contains sodium, which can increase blood pressure and increase the amount of work your kidneys must do to eliminate excess fluid and sodium from your body. Your kidneys' capacity to filter blood can be compromised by high blood pressure, which also damages the kidneys' tiny blood vessels. It is, in fact, one of the primary causes of renal failure and damage. So what is the limit for salt intake? As recommended by the American Heart Association, your daily sodium consumption should not exceed 2,300 mg, or roughly 1 teaspoon of salt. However, the majority of people consume far more than that, primarily in the form of processed foods that are high in sodium, such as sauces, condiments, frozen meals, canned soups, and snacks. Eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. Cook your own food from scratch with herbs and spices instead of salt, and carefully read nutrition labels when purchasing packaged foods as ways to reduce your intake of salt. The third is giving in to the urge to urinate. When you're busy or don't have access to a restroom, do you ever hold your urination? You might be endangering your kidneys if you do. Ignoring your urge to urinate prolongs the period of time urine remains in your bladder allowing bacteria to proliferate and causing UTIs. In addition to being uncomfortable and painful, UTIs can seriously harm your kidneys if left untreated. What steps can you take then to safeguard your kidneys and avoid UTIs? The best course of action is to pay attention to your body's needs and use the restroom as needed. Try to completely empty your bladder each time you urinate, and don't hold on to your pee for longer than 4 hours. Before we go any further, please hit the bell icon, subscribe, and like the video if you have been enjoying it so far. This will ensure that you don't miss any more. Fourth, not obtaining enough rest. You need sleep for your health and well-being, but did you know that sleep has an impact on the health of your kidneys as well? Adhere to a circadian rhythm, which is a 24-hour natural cycle that governs their activity and function. Your kidneys work less hard and rest when you sleep. Your kidneys return to normal when you wake up, filtering more blood. Your kidneys' balance and efficiency are preserved by this cycle. However, a lack of sleep throws off your circadian rhythm, making it difficult for your kidneys to function normally. People who slept less than 5 hours per night had a 65% higher risk of developing kidney disease than those who slept 7 to 8 hours per night according to a study published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology. It appears that both too little and too much sleep can have negative effects, 
as evidenced by a different study that found persons who slept more than nine hours a night also had a higher risk of kidney disease. Seven to nine hours of sleep per night is the recommended amount of sleep for adults. Try to stick to a regular sleep schedule, abstain from nicotine, alcohol, and caffeine, avoid large meals and screens before bed, make sure your sleeping space is dark and comfortable, and engage in relaxation techniques like yoga, meditation, or breathing exercises to enhance the quality and quantity of your sleep. Consuming a lot of meat is number 5. Although animal protein can be harmful to your kidneys in excess, meat protein is an extremely beneficial nutrient for your body. Animal protein causes excessive blood acid production, which can damage the kidneys and result in acidosis, a disorder in which the kidneys are unable to eliminate acid from the body quickly enough. Kidney stones, bone loss, muscle atrophy, and chronic kidney disease can result from this. How much protein, then? Do you require? For adults, the recommended daily intake of protein is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. This indicates that a person weighing 70 kilograms, 154 pounds, on average needs 56 grams of protein daily. However, this figure may vary based on your age, degree of physical activity, state of health, and personal preferences. Increase your consumption of plant-based protein sources such as beans, lentils, nuts, seeds, tofu, and quinoa in order to maintain a balanced and moderate intake of protein. These foods are rich in protein, low in acid, and rich in antioxidants and fiber. Sixth, not getting enough water in. Both life and your kidneys depend on water. Water aids in the removal of waste and toxins from your body by your kidneys. These waste products can accumulate and lead to issues like kidney stones and chronic kidney disease if the body doesn't get enough water. Actually, one of the best ways to keep your kidneys healthy and free of problems is to drink lots of water. How much water, then, do you require? Your body needs different amounts of water depending on your age, weight, activity level, climate, and health. It's generally recommended to consume 1.5 to 2 liters of water each day. However, based on your unique needs, you might require more or less. Drink water all throughout the day to stay hydrated, especially before, during, and after physical activity or whenever you feel thirsty. Other drinks, like herbal teas, juices, or soups, are also options. However, stay away from beverages that contain sugar, alcohol, or caffeine as they can dehydrate you and damage your kidneys. 7. Consuming processed food. Foods that have undergone modifications from their original state, such as the addition of artificial flavors and colors, sugar, salt, or fat, are referred to as processed foods. They taste great and are convenient, but they are also very harmful to your kidneys. This is due to the fact that processed foods are heavy in phosphorus and sodium, two minerals that can raise blood pressure. Has this discussion been beneficial so far?